Okay, so we came up to the underbelly. So Walmart should be on the left in about five miles. And then we'll turn left and go past or through Walmart. Ooh-wee! Edwin, Edwin Cortez called me from Puerto Rico. Walkie talkie that we're five to seven minutes away. All right, everybody, we're five to seven minutes away. Get the flags ready and the cameras ready. Get all the cameras and flags ready. Over. They won't let us wait in the parking lot. <laughs> so a plan B is Walmart. Should I tell everybody? No. I want them just to follow us in. So we're gonna wait so for them here. They're gonna bring. They're gonna bring them here. We're at the Walmart um, because it's here that we're waiting for Carlos Alberto Torres, Puerto Rican political prisoner whose family will pick him up at the prison and drive him to Walmart here in Peking, Illinois, uh, after serving 30 years for fighting for Puerto Rican independence. And uh, why can't we meet him at the prison? We can't meet him at the prison because we were informed by his attorney, Jan Sussler, that the prison, put, uh, prison officials put a lock on the gate and uh, forbade the family, once they let them into the prison parking lot, forbade them from coming out of the van with their cameras. They must wait in the van and they're just supposed to pick him up and spear him out. So this is where we'll meet. Okay, great, all right, bye. Okay. We wanna be here. We're gonna ask the car to pull in here, all right? And then we'll be able to greet him, but we want the car and the van to come in here. We have students from the Dr. Pedro Albizu Campos High School. We have uh, officials from the United Church of Christ. We have state assemblymen from the state of New York, as well as city councilmen and women from the state of uh, city of New York. Um, we have community activists. We have members of the Bodhi National Boricua Human Rights Network, uh, which has advocated for their release and was uh, a leading force in the international campaign for those prisoners that were released in 1999. So the emotions at this moment are overwhelming. Uh, we have young people who are younger by far than the 30 years that Carlos Alberto Torres has served in prison. Uh, we have young people that are 17, 18. Uh, we have older people that have known Carlos before he went into prison and it's a feeling of walking on water. I've been told that they're a couple minutes away that he insisted on stopping so he could change into his guayabera uh, and we're just uh, our hearts are full that's really what I can say but I want to emphasize that in the community celebration and the private reception today you'll get an idea of the importance of Carlos Alberto both as an icon in the struggle for the redemption of our community but as an individual who has resisted the dehumanization of prisons for over 30 years.
amor patriótico, no hay de tu corazón. Ven, no será simpático, el ruido del cañón, nosotros queremos la libertad. Nuestro marche que nos ha La libertad, la libertad, la libertad. ¡Que viva! Carlos. ¿Qué, qué, qué? Oh, Mira, just a, a quick thing. Just Carlos. On behalf of the Bronx, I want to give oh, you a contact. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Everybody, we had, we brought six cars to, to bring you, you know, to see you come out of prison. They wouldn't let us come into the parking lot, but you should know that there are students uh, from Dr. Pedro Albizu Campos High School. There are, there are activists from the community, from Bate Urbano, from the National Boricua Human Rights Network. There are members from the United Church of Christ here, as well as Candida Coto from Claridad. Uh, <laughs> there are elected officials from the state and the city of New York, the Riveras and Melissa Mark Viverito. Uh, and of course, it's just a wonderful thing to and see. And you're here. <laughs> so everybody, Say your highs and it's Carlos, an you want to say an something? Honor. It's an honor. You guys make this day, you know, you're the cream uh, on the cake, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was happy, but I'm way more happier now. <laughs> so thank you, and you guys made this possible. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So Carlos, what's the first thing you want to do now that you're, yeah, what's the first I thing? I already did it. Do what you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hug everybody, right? <laughs> Hug everybody. Let's start. Right here. Gotta go eat. Ay, qué bueno. ¿Por qué te estaba <laughs> 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 Oh, Peter! Como ta? <laughs> so good to see you finally. No, you're gonna make some effort to get seen. I recommend it. Jesse Fontes. Jesse Fontes. Jesse Fontes. 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 And these are all students, some graduates from Albizu Campos and some other schools, also from the Bate Urbano. <laughs> they had to make sure they bring the flags, they get everything here. You guys are what keeps me up and going. The letters are always inspirational. I don't always answer them, but because it's sometimes overwhelming. But uh, I really feel from the bottom of my heart that this day is possible for young yeah. people like you. Eight, and yeah. Yeah. What you do with the energy. It's an honor for me to stand hey, for you. So, 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 so thank you, you inspire for us. You've done. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Yeah. Go to the young. Amalicia. Amalicia. <laughs>
speaker of the evening is a person we've been waiting for to see. So I need all of you at the top of your lungs with loud, loud voices to please welcome home our compañero, Carlos Alberto Torres. you know that it is an honor for me to be here with you. I know that this is a happy day for my family, uh, but it's my victory, but it's really your victory. I think without a doubt, uh, if it wasn't for the effort and the interest and the love that all of you have uh, given and uh, this, this day would not have been possible. So I feel honored being in front of you. And thank you. I thank you. Viva Puerto Rico Libre. OK, I'm not finished. <laughs> Today is a wonderful day, but there's something missing. And it is my regret. And and that is that our brother and compañero, Oscar Lopez Rivera, is still in jail. 29 years in prison, it's outrageous, it's irrational, it doesn't make sense. What is the U.S. government waiting for? We must continue to fight. Let's enjoy this day, it is your victory, let's enjoy it. And then tomorrow morning, let's pick up right where we left off. Fighting for Oscar, okay? Los quiero mucho. Ustedes son mi gente. 